Oh, wait, aren't we recording all of it? Like in one big swoop? So it's all streaming? Oh, like we're recording it makes it easier. Okay. Got it. Alright, so we have Finger Strikes, there's Dutchman, Boys. Do we know what Loser's Round this is? I have absolutely zero idea. Okay. <laughs> it's probably on here. Alright, all right. let's check it. Let's check it. Alright, Don't mind the numbers. <laughs> Losers round three. Yeah, this is a big tournament, so it's like. Okay. And we can stop this. We're good. Alright, so it's losers round three. I think the Dutchman lost to you, actually. Mm hmm. But you need pro to get here. Take a track to have run of losers to get here. Oh, who did he beat? He beat Dark Sod and Brad Shaw. Aw, hell yeah. Very nice to I'm pretty excited. I think the main thing about this is that Baker Strikes is super willing to shoot the gun, but there are times where he is unsure of how to use his presence to get it. Mm -hmm. Because like you can use the lasers to like really put a lot of pressure on, and then like you kind of get to pick how you come in. So it's the That's true. Like he needs to put his aerials like low on shield beam. Shield, he needs not be lazy. There are times where, like, he'll um, put in all this laser work and then start rolling as smash. Ooh. You know, yeah, I see. Give up all that neutral presence. So, one thing I'm curious about, and I feel like you have a good answer to this. So, when Falco goes in with an aerial on someone's shield and then shines immediately, is that shine typically just like generally safe? Like, you shouldn't really challenge it unless you want to get hit by it? Okay. Uh, you can kind of you can kind of look at where you're hit on your shield and then see if that's like safe or not, right? Because mm -hmm. if he hits your shield super high, so like he does a down air at your head, yeah. then it's not safe. Oh. But like if he does it lower or like down the section, mm -hmm. it should be safe. Okay. The thing about Falcon Shine is that it's really small, right? Yeah. So if your shield is pretty big and you're confident, you can actually shield the hit, shield the eyes backwards, and then like dodge the shine and like shield the <laughs> Whoa, I actually I had no idea about this. So like watch forward a couple times and I'll see. Like right there because he shined grab quickly, but if he like like mm -hmm. just shine. Got her like not safe to shoot the end. It's like a little trick, it doesn't work all the time. But like the option is mm -hmm. Wow, that's really cool. So, yeah, like, he's had, like, control, but, like, he hasn't been getting this all game. He gets one of those for shine grabs a lot, which I like, but I don't get that much off grabs. Right, the conversion from there is, as, a, as I've seen, not, not super big so far. The convert is pretty, pretty small. I mean, usually on some things it doesn't have to be a conversion, it could just be a positional advantage. But in this case, it's not a ton better. It's just, yeah. Oh. So, when you get the. Alright, go ahead. Oh, sorry. One thing I've noticed that uh, Fear Stripes seems to be converting really well off of. Not converting, but uh, like every time he lasers and then dare shine grabs. Well. Every time he lasers, he gets a dare shine grab. Like, it's something I feel like he can rely on with how often he's done it in the set. Um, just some things I noticed as I'm watching them play. What were we going to say? So, <laughs> Sorry about that. Right, I'll, I'll play off that because that's kind of similar to what I was going to say. So, like, when he does the shine grab, mm -hmm. like you said, he's getting super consistently, right? Yeah. But it's like, how many times do we have to shine grab to match? A conversion by Dutchman. It's like four or five times, right? So yeah. You have to get like four or five neutral versus like one. And like, even if it's super, super, like, even if it's like super consistent, it's like, and it's almost supposed to be that. So, like, from, yeah. So, like, even though he's getting super consistently, it's like, chaos is so low. That's like, right. Yeah, like this, he's like whittling down the shield. You can find a shield over here now. He was also like keeping center stage too, like keeping Dutchman out, not letting him able to move. Okay, this is nice. That's good, that's good. In. See, and got whittled yeah. down the shield a little more. See. Oh, See, we know what he wants. We know, we know. Back here. 
Yeah, right, right there, I think you could, you can either go for a back air just for stage control, or you can go for a down air and like, try to pick up a tech chase. I usually go for the tech chase just because like, I like the payoff, but I can pick up the area for the back air as well. I feel like in this matchup, it's like, a, it's really hard for Zard to get in sometimes. But then once he does, it's like one or two hits, like, and then that, that's it. Exactly, yeah. It's balanced. It's like, the matchup's like not super bad for that reason, because like, you just need to so Like, it feels super overwhelming right here, but like, you look at it, it's like, you know, he gets a hit. That's, that's it. 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 Right. I was a little scared. Like what I like to do when they're that scared is you see Ducky's not really angling his shield. Yeah. You can actually down air his toe and like get a combo. Oh. So he whittles it down a little more. You see Zard's toe poke out. See, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have thought about down, down airing their toes. Like, I don't know. I only ever really think about the high, high or mid. Right, right. Getting the super low one is like, it sounds really, it sounds really good. I don't think Ichigo has anything like good for poking the toes, but like maybe awesome. down tilt, but like you can crouch against that. Ooh, and there it is, that one hit. 25%. So, what does Finger Stripes have to do right now to get caught up, I'd say? Because he's a game and a stock behind at this point. I think he's got to hit a huge conversion, like. It's like. Falco actually does have a pretty hard time building. I think he has the arthritis, to be honest. Like, not to the same extent. Yeah. But if you don't put first off, like, a combo, like, it's actually kind of hard to kill. Because back here is, like, not that good at it. Um, it's, like, good at walling out. But it's not good at, like, going to that extent, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, if they're at high percent and they don't, like, want to run into your back air, like, it's hard to get it. See, you see how hard it was for him to work his way into that yeah, game? I, I can, I can see that. And then it, even if you dare at 169, they just pop up and they don't die. You can't convert. Alright, don't want to get cheesed. Oh! I like the lasers right there. It was like super non-committal, but like, that was very scary. <laughs> Center stage. I can see you tried to wall him out right there, and just end up getting hit. I feel like players around this sort of skill level, they have the right idea a big chunk of the time, but there's like one like spacing part that's lacking that they didn't mean to do, or like, you know. I feel like there's just like a bunch of small little things that sort of add up a little. Alright, he should be okay here. Get the chance to get to leg on stage. Oh, that might be it. Yeah. Alright, so I think... You saw there at the end that last conversion was just a bad thing. You could get down here and you got like a bigger one. Alright, let's get that report button.